Hi friends, today we are going to create a living room cabinet in SketchUp. Make sure that units are in MO. Now using guides. We are going to create a rectangle of size 1200 by 400 mm. Now press pull it by 900 mm, which is the height of a cabinet. Now press pull the bottom portion by 50 mm to create a leg part of it. I am creating a leg of 50 mm into 50 mm. Press pull it by 50 mm to the bottom. Now make it as a group and copy it in all that x and y direction. Now make it as a group and explore the subgroups. Now moving in upper part, we are going to create press pull it by 2 cm. This is our upper part of that cabinet. Now press pull the center part by 3 cm and press pull it by 2 cm. Now copy that face and paste in place and make it as a group. Now we are going to create our partition of our shutter. Moving it by 6 inches in this direction, which we will get our drawer portion. Now, again, moving it by bottom portion by dividing it by 4, fill it by 2 mm on all the faces. Now, select only the face and just copy it and delete that and make paste in place and make it as a group. Now, fillet it by 8 mm. Fillet, uh, press pull it by 2 cm. After that, fillet it by 8 mm. We have to follow that on all the faces. Now, press pull it by 8 mm on all that faces. Now fillet it by 2 cm on all faces. Now select all that face and move it in y direction by 8 mm. Now after moving it, we will get that face like that. Now before moving to actual position, we are going to make our partition close it. Moving it by 6 inches and again moving it by 1 cm in each direction and make a copy in each direction by 2 cm. Now follow that, follow that on vertical position which for 3 partition, so I divide it by 3. Now select it and move it by 1 cm on x axis and make that segment copy over x axis by 2 cm. Now select that segment and move it in z direction. The segments are only for that partition. Now delete the unwanted segments. Now press pull that face by 360 mm on y axis. Follow it on all faces. This results in our face partition, cabinet partition. Now this is just for decoration purpose. Select that segment 
and move it in this direction to the end point and divide it by 2. You will get two faces. Delete the unwanted segments. Press pull that face by 8 mm. Now select that face. Now select this segment and move it in y inside x axis on either side. We have to move it from particular point to particular point so that I am moving from it that point to that face. So it will give us a face and now press pull it by 8 mm. Now moving to the top portion, we are going to make an arc which will give us smoothness to that top face. We are using follow me tool and which will follow in all three directions. We will left the back side portion because it will be mounted on that wall. So moving it by actual position by 500 mm. Now select that and make it as a group. Before coloring, we are going to make a handle. Using guide, we are going to make us a handle. I am making handle of 10 cm length width. Creating a rectangle of 2 cm by 5 cm. For smoothness, we are using an arc. Now move that whole segment in y direction. Create a circle on y face by 3 mm, by 6 mm, 5 mm. And follow me too. It will give us a handle. Make it as a group. While moving, we have to delete that unwanted segments. Now go to the circle and find center. Now move it in drawer by center to center position. And adjust it in y direction. Now we have we have to make several copies according to our partition. Rotating it in y direction by 90 degrees. Moving at a desired point. Making a copy on either side. Now we are moving to color. We are going to give handle a metallic color. So we are making it as a single group. So that it will be easy for coloring. Now for cabinet we are going to use a hood texture. Now adjusting the color refinement. Now 
now making the whole as a single group that's it our living room cabinet is made